Hello everyone, and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. I never played the original Universe Sandbox game, it looked kind of fun, but um, I didn't really think I could make videos on it. But I was talking to Dragas this weekend at PAX, and he told me that this game's really cool, and that you totally can do videos on it, there's lots to do in the game, so I'm gonna give it a go, okay? I'm gonna try and do it. Uh, there's like tutorials and stuff in the game, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I had a menu up here at one point, there you go, a menu. Explore tutorials and lessons, so I'm gonna try and do that. And then we can see exactly what you can do in this game. You can do pretty much anything that there is to do with uh, the universe. You can make planets hit each other. You can make asteroids hit planets. You can apparently make galaxies collide. All kinds of cool stuff like that. So let's just go into this tutorial here. And um, hopefully you can teach us some stuff about the game. Introduction. I feel like that's a good place to start. This is a realistic scale simulation of our solar system. Okay, so far so good. You can rotate your view by clicking and dragging anywhere on the screen. All right, good enough. Let's zoom that out. Oh shit! Ah, oh, it's already over my head. Look at this. Like, this is the sun. Okay, you zoom out, and then you got your um your planets revolving around the sun, like Mercury and Venus and Mars and Earth and whatever. You know, you know how planets work. You know what they're called, probably. My very educated monkey just stole Uncle Ned. He used to have pants on, but somebody decided that Pluto just wasn't good enough anymore. So now the monkey stole Uncle Ned. Pretty cool. So yeah, you can zoom out, and then uh, there's the, you know, our little solar system, and then outside of that is all kinds of stuff that I don't understand, and outside of that is nothing. Nothing at all. Cool! There are many included simulations to explore. Click on home. Here we go. And open existing simulation. Oh, I get it. That's why when I zoomed out there wasn't anything else, because you gotta actually choose your simulation. In this case, the first one on the list is the solar system, but you can also do a climate simulation. Um, a, the Pluto encounter in 2015 with the Horizon probe. You can do galaxy collisions, bombardment of moon, Saturn with rings. Lots of really freaking cool stuff in here. I'm going to open up the climate simulation. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Oh. Okay. That's actually really cool, man. You can see the clouds forming over there on the, um, oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Nope, I clicked a button I should have pressed. There are other ways to explore and create simulations. Click on home again. All right, and here we go. We're going to go back. We can create our own simulations from presets. So we got Earth and Apophis. I'm not even sure what that. Oh, it's a collision. Oh, okay. Open a create preset. You can also click on the edit icon to adjust the options for each preset. Let's open this one. Earth and Apophis or Apophis or a, uh, whatever. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I miss it? Don't do that. I wanted to see it. Oh no, it's actually a whole lot of things hitting the earth. All right. That's cool. That's cool. You can also explore activities and tutorials. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a supernova in real time. I don't really know what's going on here. This is a sun nova remnant. Oh, oh, we got some gas coming out of that thing. Okay. That's cool. The, the weird thing about this is I expected the sun to actually be really bright or the, the star, I should say. It says Sun Nova Remnant, so I guess you could call it the sun if you wanted. I don't know. I don't know how supernovas even work. I haven't really uh, done a whole lot of research on them. But basically, a whole lot of gas comes out and it, it, it kind of explodes and then it gets really tiny again when it's done, I believe. Yeah, cool stuff, man. The, the universe is actually really freaking crazy. Okay, if you didn't already know, you should probably go read a book about it. Some really crazy shit happens in the universe. There's like, there's one sun or like one, one, uh, one star out there somewhere that instead of being, uh, you know, powered by fusion or whatever, it just shoots water out. I don't know how it works, but that's what they said. That's what the scientists are saying. They're like, okay, so there's this thing over here. It's millions or billions of light years away, and it just sprays water everywhere. I don't know, man. Okay, maybe we could speed this thing up a little bit. Right now, we're at uh, about real time. We're going at 900 milliseconds per second, which is pretty much real time, but we can actually speed it up if we want. There you go. Okay, I got to zoom out because I don't even know what's happening right now. I didn't know this happened with a super, supernova. Is it just going to keep on getting bigger? Should I speed it up some more? Well, shit. It's still going. <laughs> I put it up to um, about 56 minutes per second, which is about an hour per second, and it just keeps on going. Faster! Five hours per second! And it's still going? All right. I got to zoom in on this thing. It's really, really tiny right now. Whoop. There we are. Oh, man. Look at it now. Shit. It's this big old blue plasma thingy I don't even know what that is but I like it okay it looks really cool let's make it even faster okay now we got so many days per second I don't even think I can zoom out on it anymore yes I can 
Here we go. We're zooming out. And it's still expanding. All right, we're up to three years now, guys. It is still expanding. Four years. Five years. Six years. This thing is not going to give up, man. What is happening right now? How big does the thing get? Oh, I, I really don't understand things about uh, supernovas, guys. I did not realize it got this crazy. It's just gas going everywhere, man. It's like the day after I eat Taco Bell. Not good. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> that went by really quick because I ended up making it go uh, 12,000 years per second. But it just got really big, and then it just died out again. Cool. And we still got a sun rem remnant. Is that still a thing? You still there, bro? I'm coming in. I'm scrolling. It ain't working, but I'll get there someday. There we go. And it's still a big old blue ball of something or another. Oh, and it's got little zaps coming out now. It's got solar flares. So it actually it actually uh, shows you solar flares as well. Because uh, the sun is always doing really weird things. It's got, like, uh, things just shooting off it all the time. I don't know, guys. Are you bored yet? Okay, I really like I really like physics stuff, and I really like s s planets and stars and things. So I'm talking about stuff that you may not care about. Okay, sorry. Something really interesting I'll say about this thing before I move on to something else is this right here, this nova or sun nova remnant, it's the mass of 1.2 sun. So it's heavier than the sun, yet it's only 13 kilometers in radius or 26 kilometers wide. That is insane. You know how heavy this thing must actually be? Because the sun is really, 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 really big. It's like millions of kilometers across and this thing is only 13. Holy shit. Okay, so obviously what I want to do, guys, is I want to try and make a couple planets collide. I think that would be really cool. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to completely break up or, you know, one of the planets is going to break up. I'm not sure how it works. But you could take, like, Earth and Mars and you could put them together and see what happens. You could do Earth and Earth. Why don't we try and do Earth and Earth and see what happens here? Here we go. And there, whoa, okay. Yep, that happened pretty quick. I should have probably slowed that down. You didn't even give me a chance to do that, man. Let's just go back and watch it again. No, stop, 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 what are you doing? I said go back and watch it again, but can you just wait a second? I need to bring the speed down here. So now we're watching uh, the Earth colliding with the Earth in real time. This is going to take a while. Better go get your popcorn. Oh, baby. Okay, maybe we can speed it up just a little bit, okay? Let's just speed it up just a little bit to like, I don't know, 10 seconds per second? Until at least gets closer and then we can watch it in seconds per second. So apparently if you put the Earth and the Earth that close together, it takes approximately 10 minutes for them to collide. Just wait. Here we are, okay? Their atmospheres are now colliding with each other. We're gonna bring it back down to one second per second and we're gonna watch this shit happen. All right, get ready. Mm. Here we go. Time for some oceans to touch some other oceans. I'm ready. God, it takes such a long time. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to zoom right in between it. Here we go. And the oceans are about to touch. There you go. Oh my god, immediately one of the planets just went crazy. And now there's just uh, red stuff everywhere. Fire and stuff. I don't know why the left Earth got that and the right Earth didn't. But it's cool. Okay, it's cool. So apparently that's going to happen like immediately. As soon as two Earths hit together, that's what's going to happen. So um, yeah, beware of Earths coming at Earth. You might want to uh, prepare for that one. I think there's also some sort of, whoa, okay, that's what I'm talking about, explosions. I was waiting for an explosion, because you can't have two things hitting each other without some sort of explosion. But it looks pretty cool, okay? It looks pretty cool when two Earths hit each other. Too bad we'll never get to experience that ourselves. Damn. So this is a fragment that is 18 kilometers wide, or 18 kilometers in radius. So this is actually bigger than the supernova itself. That shows you how small the supernova fragment thingy was. There you go. It's just a big old hot ball of uh, Earth, I suppose, flying off in all different directions. There's all kinds of them things. Okay, so at the end of the day, um, literally, I guess, no, it's only been like 35 minutes. At the end of the 35 minutes, they just become one thing and continue to get hotter. Cool. All right, we, can, we should look at some other things. We should see if we can get some other simulations going here. It's got to be something else cool we can do. How about a meteor hitting Earth? Because that's something that could actually happen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, here we go. Earth and asteroid, 85 meters, 17 kilometers, 45 degrees. I don't know what that even means. What, what 85 meters what? 70, oh, maybe it's 17 kilometers from Earth and 85 meters, meters long. But that's not very big. How about a 250 meter? Maybe we can do even better than that. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. The biggest we got here is Earth and asteroid, 250 meters. What I could do is I could edit it to make it bigger, but I'm just going to see what happens with an asteroid. Shit, man. You, damn it. 
It, it, it starts so fast, man. I don't even have a chance to actually see what's going to happen here. It simulates at 600 seconds per second. So I need to, like, start it up and then immediately pause it or something. Go! Pause! Where are you? Damn it! It didn't pause! Here we go. We got an option here to start it paused. Now we can actually see it. And uh, we just need to uh, make it heavier. Where's the heavier button? Give it to me. So it turns out that I can't make the asteroid bigger. At least I don't know how. But you could do a... um. You could do a different collision here. You could do Neptune and Earth. You could make Earth crash into Neptune. Now, how about that? We started to pause so we can actually watch it in real time if we want. But how fast would it be at 600 per second? 600 seconds per second. Pretty fast. Okay, let's bring it down to 10. I think 10 is a good speed to watch this in. Okay, so let's just move into place here. Now, I'm going to go around the other way so we can get better lighting. Here we go. We'll move into place and then we'll watch it happen and see what happens on Neptune. Go! Hmm. There. Okay. So when Earth hits Neptune, you get a bunch of fire and some explosions. And I'm going to move back and I'm going to make it go faster. Go. Into Neptune you go. Disappear. Yeah, that's the good stuff. And you can see all the little fragments will actually come out and they'll, uh, they'll spin around because, of course, you know, gravity and whatnot. So like this guy right here, if we can focus on him, he's just going to slowly arc around and he's going to hit again. And I think it actually makes another explosion on Neptune when you do that and it in increases the amount of chaos going on look at that yeah that's actually really cool so you could crash a whole lot of fragments into a planet if you want and it would probably destroy the planet because each one of these tiny little fragments is like an asteroid of itself and asteroids kill the dinosaurs man so you know that asteroids don't fuck around I don't know why this is a thing but it is you can make a whole lot of Earths crash into a whole lot of moons or the other way around I guess the moons are crashing into Earth let's uh watch it I guess Okay, sweet. And the funny thing is, they actually were all different. They all were slightly different from each other because of the fact that it's a simulation. So I guess it calculates slightly different every time because it's not 100% accurate. What the hell just happened up here? What the, you guys, what are you doing? Oh, that's the pieces coming back and hitting it again. Like this one over here. All right, cool. So a whole lot of things are hitting the earth. Wait a second. Wait a second. Some of the earths disappeared? What? Did they blow up? Did I miss the Earth's blowing up? Can we go back? I don't think we can actually go reverse time. I'll just start over and see what the hell happened here. I'm pretty sure like all of the Earth's over here. Oh, they're colliding with each other. That makes sense. That's actually really cool. Look at this. So they're just flying into each other and slowly forming a big ball of Earth's that is the same size as just one Earth because shut up, okay? Now it makes perfect sense, man. I got so confused. I was so confused as to how the hell the Earths were just disappearing. But yeah, they're going into each other. Wait, no, don't go the other way. You're not done engulfing each other yet. Okay. So the end result of all these collisions is a whole lot of particles and one, two, three Earths. But it looks like these two Earths might actually be colliding into each other. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Maybe they're not actually going to bang into each other because of the fact that, you know, in space... Things don't really slow down. So I think we actually created a permanent system where that Earth revolves around the other Earth. Okay, I'm cool with that. So this thing looks really cool, right? It's actually just a bowling ball. A bowling ball in space. And there's a baseball around here somewhere that's supposed to bang into it, but I don't see it. I'm going to bring time down so we can, we can uh, see it a bit slower. Because when I press play, it just comes out of nowhere and hits it. Hello? Baseball. I don't see you anywhere, buddy. Show yourself. What the hell is happening right now, guys? I have no freaking idea. I was just waiting for the for the baseball to hit the bowling ball, and then this came out of nowhere. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what that is. It's a big old beam of light just stretching across the uh, stretching across the universe. What is this? Hang on a second. Let me just see if I can zoom out and see it. I don't know how that happened. I, the first couple times I tried to see what was going to happen, it just uh, hit the. Uh, it hit the bowling ball really quick, but this is a baseball. Okay. The baseball is very big, and it came out of nowhere, and it didn't even hit the freaking bowling ball. I don't know what's going on, okay? I have no idea. Is there a statistics we can go to and, and see? Wait, search. Find body. Baseball. Okay, the baseball is over here somewhere. Coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for... Yep, there it is. Okay, so where is the bowling ball now? Bowling ball is over here. This is very confusing, guys. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to watch the baseball hit the bowling ball. This must be flying through the universe really freaking quick. Go! Okay, what, wait, hang, what, what was that? 
No, wait for me. Okay, a lot of minutes passed. I think I screwed up. Baseball, go. You're flying this direction, I think? Over here? Oh, here we go. Now I can see what's going on. So, I don't know how big the bowling ball is, but it's going to hit. It hit. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Are you gone? You gone for good? The bowling ball is still here. Okay, so now the bowling ball is traveling this way really, really fast, and it's also really, really hot. Okay. Okay. So this is cool. So something is happening because they're moving really quick, but it happens so fast that when they hit each other, I can't keep track of it. All I know is the bowling ball is going really, 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 really fast now. Cool. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I don't know if this is something you enjoyed or not. Because uh, it is really slow, and it's basically just me wondering what the hell is going on. But if you do want to see some more, if you have any suggestions for things you want to see me do in the game, you can make galaxies collide, you can do things with black holes, and I can do all that stuff in another video if you want. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.